Is FSU going to the Big Ten? Are we getting an announcement this week? And what's going to be discussed at that Board of Trustees meeting at Florida State tomorrow? We've heard from you guys. We know that you're dying to get out of the Atlantic Coast Conference, and we do think it's coming soon. Let's talk about a timeline for that in just a moment. But first, an interesting tweet surfaced yesterday that has FSU fans on the edge of their seats with a possibility to get good news on leaving the ACC sooner rather than later. We've told you about why the Seminoles, Clemson Tigers, and others in the ACC need to get out as quickly as possible. In fact, in our very last video, we explained why staying in the ACC was more risky than leaving or declaring that we're leaving without even having a for certain landing spot. But earlier this week, a tweet hit the internet from Greg Swaim that said, Breaking, here's the update on FSU. As we're hearing it, will be negotiated a buyout of the contract down to $300 million, but paid in installments of close to $30 million annually. The Knowles get roughly double that from the Big Ten or SEC each year, though. Now, Swaim's tweet was met with some instant critics and some immediate disagreements. But no matter what you think about the guy, he's definitely hit on more than he's missed with regards to conference realignment. Most notably recently, he was on top of the Colorado flip to the Big 12. Now, the immediate question was whether or not it made sense for Florida State to spend $30 million a year for the next 10 years. I think we've done a fairly good job of explaining why it does make sense for FSU in our previous conference realignment videos due to the revenue gap projections and how much more the sec and the big 10 will pay florida state or any team that would jump from the acc it makes a ton of sense we've also talked about how the buyout plus the grant of rights could be anywhere between 420 and 720 million dollars and how negotiating that down to only 300 would be huge for the Knowles. What those numbers that the Big Ten or the SEC would pay out don't take into account, though, is the value of the TV deals that's added to each of those conferences by adding one or two top 10 brands like FSU or Clemson. So let me ask a question out there to all those who think FSU wouldn't pay $30 million per year over 10 years to leave to go to the Big Ten. Do you think that adding FSU and Clemson would make the Big Ten more valuable? If so, do you think that it could maybe add something like an extra $3.5 million in value to each of those Big Ten teams' media deals? Because personally, I think it might add a lot more than that. But let's just take a look at the math and say that it only adds about three and a half million dollars, big picture, to those teams' media deals. Three and a half million times the 16 teams in the Big Ten is roughly $60 million. So to get FSU and Clemson, which adds four national titles in the past 25 years, those teams just have to agree to make the same amount that they currently make over the next 10 years. And then after that, they get paid far more as long as the conference exists. And it seems like an obvious win-win to me. Now, that's just the immediate revenue that would come in from this team joining the conference. FSU's brand alone brings more to the Big Ten than every other team except for Ohio State and Michigan and possibly USC, but that one's maybe debatable. What FSU would do for every Big Ten team that we travel to and what it would do for their local towns and economies when Florida State or maybe even Clemson played there would be on another level. Also, big picture, what FSU and Clemson would do for the Big Ten would easily bolster that conference ahead of the SEC. A big five of Ohio State, Michigan, USC, Florida State, and Clemson is 100% on par with a big five of Alabama, UGA, LSU, Oklahoma, and Texas. This doesn't even count the massive whale that's out there in Notre Dame. I've actually spoken with some folks off record this week, 
And I think that Notre Dame is going to eventually end up in a conference, and many tend to think that the natural path is going to be the Big Ten as their destination. The Big Ten knows it's behind the SEC right now, but there is a path to being the superior conference. It is an expensive path, but it's great news for FSU and likely for Clemson as well. Another tweet surfaced this week from Jack McGuire of Barstool Sports, and he reported the Big Ten could be adding Washington, Oregon, FSU, and Clemson this week. Now, again, that tweet was met with immediate questioning, but all of the smoke seems to be trending one way right now. Florida State is on the verge of doing something that will fundamentally change college football forever. Michael Alford is brilliant, and he has been an absolute godsend of an athletic director for the Seminoles. He sees what's happening, and he sees what's going on with the Pac-12 and their media rights, Colorado leaving. He knows that there are teams out there, out west, that are probably going to bolt for greener pastures once the media rights deal is announced out there in the Pac-12. He also knows that the Atlantic Coast Conference needs to blow up sooner rather than later to get some of those teams to the Big 12 before the Pac-12 teams fill it up. All eyes are on Tallahassee today and tomorrow, and we'll tell you why. But first, let me give some love to our friends over at Garnet and Gold. If you are an FSU fan and you are gearing up for the season, today is August 1st. We play football in just over a month against LSU and Camping World Stadium. Make sure that the only place you are shopping for gear, athletic apparel, and FSU licensed items is garnetandgold.com. If you haven't ordered your jersey yet for the season or your coach's polo, your tennis shoes, whatever you're looking for, use code NOSLAW, N-O-S-L-A-W, at checkout for 15% off. Appreciate Garnet and Gold for their support. If you're in Tallahassee, order online, go do in-store pickups, save on the shipping, and save yourself 15%. Doesn't work in stores, it does work online. All eyes on Tallahassee right now, and there is serious smoke that something could happen today or tomorrow, especially with the Board of Trustees meeting that is taking place tomorrow on Wednesday. The rumor is that there is a loan on the agenda from the Seminole Boosters being discussed, and the thoughts around that have to do with the indoor practice facility. If that's paid off, it frees up money for other things. Perhaps a hefty legal battle, perhaps some of the buyout money that needs to be paid to the ACC up front, or maybe even a settlement for the total deal of the grant of rights. We'll see, but it is widely reported that ESPN is terrified of this meeting. Now, the meeting could be much ado about nothing, and we'll find out in just a few hours what happens there. But with all of the smoke and the people we've talked with inside of FSU, we do believe something is brewing, and it's got ESPN pretty worried right now. ESPN needs to suck it up and let FSU and Clemson move to the SEC without financial ramifications, or they are absolutely playing with fire. They're going to be putting themselves at risk of losing FSU and possibly Clemson to the Big Ten. And this is the warning to ESPN executives. Don't overplay your hand here. FSU's fan base would be perfectly happy with either conference. They just won out of the ACC. Either conference, Clemson and FSU joins, will instantly become the best conference in the country. We've broken that down in our Discord. We've shown you what the top 10 teams of each conference would look like. And Florida State and Clemson are going to tip the scales that much. Both conferences are paying the similar money and they have similar levels of big team names. Ultimately, it's going to come down to what makes the best economical sense over the long term. And this could go either way, depending on who presents the best financial offer for FSU. If ESPN is smart, they'll make this move pretty seamless and pretty easy for Florida State. If not, the Knowles will go to the Big Ten, and that will be the premier conference of college football. FSU is in a phenomenal spot. Outside of Notre Dame, they're the most valuable brand in the country 
that isn't currently in the Big Ten or the SEC. It's not close. In down years, Florida State still pulls in top 10 viewership and support. What will happen if the Big Ten is able to get the Knolls and the Tigers? Well, they move ahead as the premier conference in college football, and it won't be close. What will happen in the coming days? We'll find out soon enough, but make sure that you're locked in with the channel as we continue to cover Florida State's final days in the Atlantic Coast Conference. If you've missed any of the numbers as to why it makes sense for FSU to bolt right now, you can click right here to get caught up.